All right, in this video, I am going to be talking about my approach for organic chemistry. And I don't think I'm going to be talking about how I did for physical chemistry or inorganic chemistry. Um, because physical chemistry, I mean, it's kind of easy, the formulae, you just know it and then you go forward. And inorganic chemistry, because I kind of have already covered it in my previous videos. But when it comes to organic chemistry, I did do a lot of things. I referred different books and I went on YouTube. And at the end, I really did enjoy that section. So I thought it would be good to make a short video of the same. And this is Time Out with Aisri. Until today, I've been making a lot of neat related videos, but neat aspirants really don't know about this channel. So if you're a neat aspirant and you know of other neat aspirants, please do spread the word because I have been making a lot of neat content. And once I move into hostel and all of that soon, I will make more videos of my college life. But right now, it's about the neat stuff before I forget about it because after three and a half months of holidays, I've slowly started to forget how much I've done. So before I forget, we need all of the neat content to come out. So yes. I'd like to make one more interruption before we get into the video. Basically, I've made really good organic chemistry notes. At least I think I have. Because whenever I look at it, I feel so sad right now because it's of no use to me. So I've scanned them and if you would like to take a look at them or at least get an idea of what I'm trying to get at when it comes to making notes, you can check it out by looking at the description below. I have linked a few of my chapter notes and if you do enjoy it, if you do think it's going to be helpful for your neat prep, please do let me know down in the comments. I would be more than happy to share it with you. Then yes, we can get back into the video now, but please do check it out and let me know what you think. So yes, on to the video we go. So firstly, in ICC class 10, we already had this chapter of organic chemistry. So we were learning about IUPAC nomenclature, hydrocarbons and the simple stuff. So when general organic chemistry started, because the beginning of the chapter is like related to all of this, I thought that I already knew of everything. So I didn't really have to study it in detail because I knew of it. But once we started to come to resonance effect, induction effect, hyperconjugation and all of that, that's when I realized that it's actually complicated. But before I could, you know, give it the time that I needed and do my self-study, the chapter was already complete. And because in 11th we had this term 1, term 2 stuff, I had to skip it and that remained as a backlog till the end of 11th. So the entire organic chemistry of 11th was not at all thorough with me. So in the two month summer holidays, I dedicated my entire time towards mastering organic chemistry. Because I knew that in 12th, it would be an essentiality. You need to know the foundations of general organic chemistry if you want to understand the 12th standard organic chemistry stuff. So on my left in organic chemistry and physical chemistry during the two month summer holidays, but I dedicated all of the time for organic chemistry. So in the two months summer holidays, I found that Alexa had made like 66 organic chemistry related videos. And because I had grown to really love his teaching, I decided to watch all of them. Now, I would watch all of the lectures at 2x speed, simultaneously take notes. But because it was a lot of information, I was not able to remember everything. But gradually, once I read my notes again and again, and then simultaneously went through my module a bit, it started to make a bit of sense, like all of these effects, and I was able to understand better than I was at the beginning. But the complete understanding of general organic chemistry became complete when I referred this Pradeep book. Now this book I referred only for organic chemistry and it was so good. Like every line reading it just made everything seem much more meaningful. So I really relied on that book as well. So after watching all of those Alexa lectures, then I would read my Pradeep book, solve as many questions as I could. I did have a lot of books for that, but I didn't really refer to that. Then I would solve all the previous year questions, which is an essentiality. And alongside that, I went on to MTG. It sounds like a lot, but the thing with organic chemistry is, once you get it, it, you can't leave it. I mean, it comes easily. So it's like biology at the end, like you can quickly solve the questions. It's not like solving numericals. So because of that, I was able to solve a lot of questions. So now that was off my list because somehow I was able to do the 11th standard organic chemistry to a suitable level. I was confident that in 12th, I would be more comfortable with the portions. So once 12th standard started, first with physical chemistry and then inorganic chemistry, the first few months I dedicated to physical chemistry so I could get that off my list. It's easy and then if there was not much to do for that. But when they were doing inorganic chemistry, I left it at that point for my self-study 
Instead, I use that time for organic chemistry. Now, when it comes to the YouTube channels that I used to refer, um, there's this ma'am, Sakshi ma'am, who used to teach for JE students on an academy platform. I had known about her in 11th while I was learning about chemical bonding. But her organic chemistry teaching is insane. I really enjoyed her lectures. She made one-shot lectures, but because they were like eight hours long, she would explain everything in detail. And she would also come to some of the mechanisms and I would note everything down. Whatever was on the board, I would note it down simultaneously. And alongside that, once I had finished watching her videos, alongside Alexa's videos, his old videos, then I would watch Pankaj sir's lectures just to kind of reignite it in my brain and retain it for longer. So after watching all of these teachers, I would read my notes again. Then I would go on to Pradeep book. It's amazing for organic chemistry. I highly recommend it. Then I would solve as many questions as I could. And then I would go on to NCRT line by line. And after doing all of this, the NCRT became much, much more clarified for me. And every single line made more sense to me. Now, when it comes to mechanisms, I did not really remember all of them. I wrote them all down, but when it came to solving a question, it was mainly based on memory rather than knowing about all of those mechanisms. Sure, I did know about SM1, SM2, Elimination, Williamson and all of those. The basic mechanisms I was completely thorough with, but all of the others, I didn't really make it an intention to keep on learning that and retaining it in my head. Because for me, in the NEAT exam, I was not really going behind the mechanisms. So when I would solve more and more questions based on one mechanism again and again, then it was not necessary for me to know the behind the scenes of the reaction. Rather, I could compare it to a question which I had already done and based on that, give the right answer. So I didn't really learn all the mechanisms. If you are good at learning mechanisms and if you're good at understanding all of that, then please go ahead. But I didn't and it wasn't really a big thing for me. Only the basic mechanisms which are necessary from the board exam perspective and sometimes you need it by solving neat questions, those were the ones which I paid more attention to. All the others which are more secondary are mainly asked in the GE Advanced. I only noted them down but didn't make an attempt to go further into it. So that's the deal with mechanisms for me. So this entire loop of watching YouTube videos, making notes, reading those notes, then going to NCRT, solving all the previous year questions, that was kind of my routine when it came to organic chemistry. And another thing which I like to point out is that all of the chapters of organic chemistry are linked. And you'd know that whatever you're learning in halo alkanes, some aspect of it is reflected in alcohols. Whatever you're learning in aldehydes, it will come in further chapters. So I began to realize that once I started doing the 12th standard chapters. So sometimes because they're all linked, some questions also require the knowledge of the other chapters. What I'm trying to get at is, you cannot master organic chemistry for the NEAT exam until all of these chapters are completed. So in the first few chapters, you still might not be getting your required marks. You might not be getting full in this section of organic chemistry. And that's fine, it happens to everyone. But the thing is, you have to look on it as the whole. Once the entire organic chemistry is complete, then everything makes much more sense. So it was only after I had completed a mines that I was much more confident in this section of organic chemistry. So general organic chemistry is like your foundation. You need to know it. Like that entire resonance effect, those entire effects are really important. But everything else, like whatever you're learning in haloalkanes, it'll only become 100% done for you after you complete the other chapters. So don't burden yourself with one chapter only. Rather, get an overview of one chapter of organic chemistry, move on to the next, the next, and finally after you reach the mines, then you can go back and start from round one. And another thing when it comes to solving questions, I really relied on neat previous year questions. I had the 35 years neat previous year question book. So I would solve that again and again repeatedly. And alongside that, I would go through the NCRT exemplar book. It had a lot of um, questions which are sometimes asked in the NEAT exam. So please go through that as well. And I would again do the NCRT in text questions, the back questions and all of that. Also, I would go to MTT and solve their questions because as I mentioned earlier, organic chemistry, once you've got the hang of it, it's so easy to solve questions. It's like you can solve so many questions with limited time. So these were the things that I wanted to point out when it came to organic chemistry. Basically, you have to employ different techniques, study techniques for different topics. 
you can't employ the same way you've studied in organic chemistry for organic chemistry it's not just reading the ncrt that will get you through in this section rather you have to employ different strategies you have to find the right teachers for you you need to find the right book for you and you need to solve as many questions as you can for inorganic chemistry i would make charts and all of that for physical chemistry i would make formula sheets but for organic chemistry the concept should be clear and for that just take your time and learn what works for you